Here it is, you guys. Kitty grills installed. That contrast is a fool. Like, you just back up slowly. You can see it from miles and miles away. Yeah, that's clean. I like that. It looks aggressive. <laughs> to another video guys clt hemi coming back with another video another banger you already know how i'm coming whenever i come around yes sir uh today i've been doing a little small modifications to the car here and there um i got like three or four things in the mail today little small details i'm real big on small details so um it's not gonna be really an install video but i'm gonna take y'all along with um me installing this stuff you know what i'm saying so i got kidney grills I got new emblems for the whole car, the black and white ones, because the car is white, black interior, so I'm gonna do the whole black and white theme. Um, you know, let's just hop into this video, bro. I'm gonna show y'all what I got, start installing this stuff, then y'all let me know how this stuff is turning out, because I think it's gonna look really good, but go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and go ahead and follow me on Instagram, even though I'm still COT Hemi, but you see the big scat back in the back. I'm still still to hear me, but I do plan on getting a Ram, so I'm going to keep my name. But let's flip the camera around and show y'all what I got. So right here, we got new kidney grills with the M5. Turn it around. Oh, no. With the M5 logo that goes on the kidney grill. I'm going to show y'all what they look like right now. They are silver. They have the silver little trim going around them. So that's gonna go and look just black, you know what I'm saying? Get rid of that silver, that's gotta go. The emblems are new as well, which I gotta take those off. I'm still looking for this piece right here. I don't know if I wanna get it painted or buy a new one. If y'all can f send me a link to one of those, I need that ASAP. These are the new emblems which I installed one already on the car, which that's the trunk. I think the big one is the trunk. Trunk, the one goes in the front and the steering wheel is in there too. The three wheel caps, I took one off already and that's what it looks like. I plan on getting different wheels anyways, but this is just for the meantime. So I'm not really worried about that. That's original factory and we come back here the black and white so it's kind of clean so i like that but kidney grill is going on this is wrap for the bars in the back a lot of bmw owners have wrapped those some get them powder coated which i don't know which route i want to go yet so i'm going to try this out to see if it looks like i want if it doesn't i can always take the wrap off so Real simple, easy install, you guys. The hardest part is probably gonna get the kidney grills out, but I'm pretty sure that won't be an issue. These emblems, which let me show you, hold on. Let me take this out of the pack real quick. The emblems have these little pegs on them. A lot of people have been cutting them off or snapping them off because they don't, they might not fit the OEM holes, I guess. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I want to get those place on the car exactly and it's like 3m that goes like that and then that goes inside there so real simple easy i'm gonna get all the uh 
center caps put in. And then I'm probably going to do this last, the big M last, and then hop on this. Because that's probably going to take the longest. And I got to wrap those too. So stay tuned. Real quick, easy video. All right. To take the emblems out, I'm using this small little flat head. I don't know if that's going to zoom in, but small little flat head. And I'm going real slow to pry the emblem out. A lot of people use like tape and all the other stuff, which I don't really have tape. So I'm just doing it real s slowly and softly and they just, they're popping out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm doing that, taking some glass cleaner, cleaning up that little surface right there, which I still got to do that one down there, but cleaning up the surface and then popping a new emblem in right there. So I'm gonna clean this up real quick and then pop that new emblem in. I'm pretty sure when we get to the front, y'all probably know how to take this bumper, not off, but this little piece right here comes out. So it exposes the, I'm assuming the star bits. I'm just taking this up for the heck of it. Cause I've seen a lot of people literally just snatch them out. That's scary to me. So I'm gonna see if I can take these bolts out if I have the tools to do it first. And if I can't, then I'm going to try to pry them out slowly. But that's last case scenario. So I'm gonna see if I have these bolts. Let's see if I can reach down in there and free up these before I start just yanking at the car. So give me one second. Okay, I think you got one bolt, no, one bolt, two, three, four, four bolts. And these are little push pins. One, two, three, and four. Now, I literally use one of my trim tools to grab the push pin, pull it up. And once it's pulled up, it literally comes right out. So, real simple and easy. But then, four push pins and four screws. And then this should be freed up. At least enough to, um, reach my hand down up in here and get it out. So let's see what we can get done. I like that. So I'm wrapping it and it looks like that, but these are the new kidney grills. So it's going to be black. I don't trip it. Now that's the new one. The sun messed me up, but that's the new one. So it's going to be the black with the white on the background. So that's going to be clean. I like that. Yeah, boy, change out the emblems. Let me straight. Here it is, you guys. Kidney grills installed. That contrast is a fool. Like, you just back up slowly. You can see it from miles and miles away. Yeah, that's clean. I like that. It looks aggressive. But I'm gonna finish these emblems. See if I can finish these emblems. Hopefully they real easy. But that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned. I got some more modifications coming. I have, I actually found the intakes that I wanna purchase, which they run from the car to the front of the grill right here. Uh, intercoolers, down pipes, and I actually found the tune, DME tune. I think that's the tune I'm gonna go with. So stay tuned. Got a whole lot of stuff coming for this build. Real crazy build. I'm gonna clean her up at the end of the video so y'all can see what she looks like. She's very dirty. But let's finish this and then call it a day. All right, so I got all the emblems off. Place this one, you see that's the black and white instead of the blue. But you see this, I have an issue. My front and the rear are the same size. This is the front. No, this is the rear. This is the front, which is a flat one. They're the same freaking size. This one won't fit. So I have the rear one on. You see, I got those, boom, boom. 
and then bam. And the paint started coming off when I started taking the 3M tape off, so um, I ordered another one. Should be in maybe in a couple days. But good thing I don't drive this car every day, so I don't have to drive around without an emblem. But the grill looks really freaking good. The grill looks good. So I got those done. And then you come on the inside of the car. Even changed out the one on the inside of the car too, so it's real clean. But all that's done, uh, I probably gonna end the video right here. Uh, thanks for like, comment, and subscribing. I know y'all about to go ahead and support the kid, uh, support the build because I'm just trying to be different, bro. I know a lot of people have Dodge Chargers, Challengers, Mustangs, Camaros. There's nothing really special about them. So um, I'm gonna be that oddball. I'm willing to be that oddball. So um, continue supporting. When that comes in, I'm just gonna slap it on. I'm not really worried about it, but I'm gonna take the car outside, maybe do a walk around, but that's it for this video, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you for supporting.